Hey guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Lamar H6 equipment trailer. The H6 gets its name from the 6 inch channel tongue and mainframe. This trailer is commonly sold in a 14,000 pound GVW, although you can also get it in an 8,000 pound axle upgrade, which would be a 16 GVW or triple sevens for a 21k GVW. Uh, this particular unit shown is a 22 foot deck length. A normal trailer in an 18 to 20 is going to weigh in upper twos, about 27, 2800. A uh, one equipped like this is probably going to weigh in the mid threes. So I'll take you for a walk around the trailer, show you some of the new features. Up front, we're going to take a look first at this Demco Easy Latch coupler. That's a new coupler they just started putting on. I'm going to uncouple it now so I can show it to you. So it's a cast coupler. It's got a very high 21,000 pound weight rating. So something like this would even work for a triple axle. So basically your ball, as you would lower the trailer up on, automatically latches. Pretty slick setup. It's got a uh, safety pin there that you can uh, make sure it's not gonna uncouple. Also standard would be a 12K jack. Uh, you can get this either against the bulkhead or we ask them to put it up front. Up front we find this to be a little more uh, user friendly. It's just easier to get to the, uh, to the uh, foot down at the bottom. If you're not familiar with the 12K jack, you would turn that handle sideways and the inner leg here would retract up and down and then for your additional uh, movement, you would simply crank the handle. I uh, got a retainer for your safety chains inside the frame. Of course, the trailer is made in the USA. Comes with your breakaway and then of course we give you a carabiner as well. A cold weather wire harness is standard equipment cold weather harness uh, is effective down to negative temperatures it's also a sealed wire harness so your wiring's all protected as mentioned previous a six inch channel full wrap tongue is standard also notice the pin striping which is standard front bulkheads a little bit different than some some use angle uh, some use channel this is a pipe good looking design notice the new bullet LED lights Okay, also standard would be a rub rail and stake pockets for your tie downs. Okay, optional equipment on this unit is fork holders. So if you want to put your forks with your load, you can do that on this one. Of course, a two by eight treated uh, wood floor would be standard. Structural channel cross members, not uh, nowadays you get more form cross members. These are the uh, old school tried and true structural channel a little bit heavier duty by weight a uh, spare tire mount is an option you'll find this on a lot of our units okay we can do these with either weld on or removable fenders i notice this is a weld on uh, if it was a removable fender just be a bolt there you can do them either way for you 16 inch 235 80 r16 10 ply radial tires are standard current brand tires provider pretty good tire Dexter brand axles currently standard the new forward adjusting brakes also standard okay these have the uh, easy lube hubs if you're not familiar you would simply pull the rubber uh, plug off the end there's a greaser behind there pump grease until the old grease comes out for those not familiar with the suspension a slipper spring is not on every 14k equipment but it is pretty well the industry standard uh, what's not industry standard would be that grease dirt there or what some would call a wet bolt kit it just gives added serviceability to your slipper spring okay also on their fender you've got a fender support so if somebody bangs it with a skid steer hopefully it'll hold up a little bit better than if that weren't there okay the trailer is powder coated Lamar does a proper steel prep prior to the uh, powder Got stake pocket tie downs. Now back here at the back, you don't have a rub rail. Reason for that is these ramps. So we got the full width ramps. Well, Lamar would refer to those as the Rhino ramps. I've got one in the up position so you can get a look at what, uh, what the ramp looks like. Of course, in the down position, the benefit would be it gives you a flat 22 foot deck with the tread plate flats. It's got your self cleaning beaver tail. Now this beaver tail style would be in lieu of a two foot beaver tail with a five foot ramp. 
So to keep that roughly seven foot transition you'd normally get, you've got about a three and a half foot beaver tail and roughly a three and a half foot ramp there so that you keep the same ramp angle. Okay, but again, benefit of uh, these ramps over a traditional stand-up would be these you can fold flat. Again, because of the bar arm to stand them up, you would lose your, your rub rail in that area. Got a ramp handle on the ramp to help you up. Also notice here they've got a double spring instead of a single spring due to the additional weight. So on this trailer, this is a 22, you're going to get about 18 and a half foot of flat, give or take. And then another three and a half foot beaver tail. Something like this would be ideal for your Bobcats, uh, Mini X's, most of your equipment. Uh, this here would also work for an antique tractor due to the full width ramps. Also ideal for a full size pickup truck. Again, you can get it in different configurations, the tr more traditional stand-up ramps. You can also get these in a 102-inch deck. For those not familiar, a 102-inch deck would basically bring the outer side rail out flush with the fender. So instead of being an 83 with a rub rail, it would come out in line with the outside. Uh, some guys like those, commonly referred to as buggy haulers, uh, normally would drive over fenders. We do also keep those in stock couple different upgrades you can get on these we do sell some with toolboxes every once in a while we'll do a floor upgrade a spare tire it's also available uh, a rubberized floor you can get uh, for them as well called blackwood again folks this is a Lamar H6 22 foot 14,000 pound GVW if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers give us a ring 717 220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com